In this video, we are going to establish a relationship between simple harmonic motion and uniform circular motion. To establish the relationship, what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider a particle. So let us consider a particle moving in a circular motion with velocity v. Let the particle make an angle of theta at any given time t. In order to explain this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this information to draw a picture. So here is the picture where you can see particle Q is moving in a circular path. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider two different positions for the particle and the positions are basically P and Q. So the particle is going from Q to P and let the velocity of the particle is V at these two points. Now, since the particle is moving from Q to P, then the angle at the center of the circle will be this angle which is theta. Now let the radius of this circular path is A. So basically O P and O Q will be A. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drop a perpendicular from P to O Q. And if I do that, it will intersect at point R and let O R is X and P R is Y. So basically we have four different quantities X, y angle theta and v now as we know that the angular velocity of the particle is omega is given as omega is equal to theta over t then theta will be omega times t and let this is our equation number one now what i'm going to do i'm going to consider a right triangle opr so we will consider triangle opr and from this triangle we can write cosine theta is equal to OR over OP. So this is the angle theta and the cosine is basically base over hypotenuse that will be OR over OP and we know that OR is X and OP is A. So we will write that is equal to X over A. So basically cosine theta is equal to x over a. If we simplify further, we can do the cross multiplication and we can write x is equal to a cosine theta. And from equation number one, we know that theta is equal to omega t. So I'm going to substitute omega t over here. And if I do that, I will write x is equal to a cosine omega t. And this is my equation number two. Now let the particle move further and makes an angle of phi in addition to the given angle. So basically the particle is moving further and the particle is going away from point P to some point right here and let that angle will be the additional angle and the magnitude of that angle will be phi. Then the displacement is given as x is equal to a cosine omega t plus phi and let this is our equation number three and this is how we can find the displacement equation for a simple harmonic motion. And this is how we establish a relationship between simple harmonic motion and uniform circular motion. 